let's just get this over with. I waited for a long, long time to talk about it. I wanted to wait till the end of the season, but because of Sunday stupidity, let's talk about it now. <sighs> Six years of this hell, and it's just so mind boggling that this shit format still fucking exists. I have no clue why this format still exists. It's fucking pathetic. What happened on Sunday for Harvick was just truly, truly embarrassing because how do you become the most dominant driver of the season and then your season depends on a fucking format? Like seriously, it takes two bad races of a round to mess you up or to get you in a must win situation. That is fucking pathetic. Kevin Harvick is honestly, factually better than the format says. It is obvious that he would be the real champion if it wasn't for the chase. He would have been crowned at Texas despite finishing, what, 19th at that race, I think? And but to have this format to be the best driver of the season, to, to have two bad, uh, two bad round of eight races it's just stupid it's just stupid that he would get eliminated like that i love how a lot of people say stage points and chase points matter throughout the whole season it does not matter the whole season because it's a reset after the 26th race of the season it's a reset once every three weeks and it's a reset going down to the finale when points don't matter it's just a free for all race so for anyone telling me stage points matter, consistency matter with this format, it does not. That is bullshit. That is bullshit. That is not true at all. I don't know how I don't know how anybody I don't know how anybody after that shit on Sunday can still defend the elimination format. Like why? What's so good about it besides bringing fake excitement, fake drama and all that shit? What's so exciting about that? <sighs> so we had this format since 2014. That's when credibility, credibility ended. Credibility of being a champion ended in 2013. And it has done worse than better. I don't give a fuck about the entertainment standpoint. I don't care about the entertainment point of view. I don't care. I am a motorsports fanatic. I watch a lot of racing for the racing, for the competition, and for the consistency, and for natural battles, whether it's natural battles for races, natural battles for the championships, when points matter throughout the entire season. I do not watch NASCAR for the ball sports on wheels, for the fake entertainment. No, that's not what racing's about. That is not racing. We only have this format still because of Brian France. Brian France is gone. And we still have this format. Why? Isn't that... I know NASCAR is listening to their fans. I know they're trying to fix a sport. But this form... But the ball sports format. It's just... It's done a lot of worse than better. All it did was crown two legit champions to the Cup Series. Martin Truex Jr. 2017. Kyle Busch 2019. And in trucks, Johnny Sauter 2016, Chris Revelle 2017, legit champions. In Xfinity, Tyler Reddick 2019. I am so tired of seeing these fake champions being crowned. Like, they're not the real champions, they're chase champions. A chase champion means when you win a championship because of, the, because of a chase format, but you're not the season champion. Something like that. And it's just very, very saddening that we have this format just for storylines, just for attention. This is not about the competition. This is about the fake entertainment. And that's very sad that NASCAR is still going to that wrong direction after six years. Like at this point, like with this format at this point, I don't even call NASCAR motorsport. Hell, I don't even call NASCAR a sport. 
That's an asterisk for, for wanting to be an entertainment facility. A, a fake entertainment thing. It's been six years. It's been six years. I've, I've hated the format since it became a thing, honestly. It's been six years of this. I don't know how the hell we can go through it next year again. Who the hell wants to see this shit again next year? This format shows that consistency doesn't matter. Even if you're Kevin... <coughs> <coughs> Whether you're Jeff Gordon in 2014, Kevin Harvick in 2016. They did not get into the last round of the chase and that's pathetic because they've been the best drivers all season long. And because of what, some bad races or whatever, they don't get in because they didn't win or because another driver has to do whatever it takes to advance, although they do not deserve it? Really? That's pathetic. That is pathetic. And don't get me wrong. I, as a motorsports fanatic, I love the non-chase format and I do love the 10 race non-elimination format in the Cup Series. I know some of you guys are gonna say, but Ian, the 10 race chase doesn't produce real champions as well. You're being a hypocrite. I know. That's, that's what bothers me, honestly, about the better chase. I, there's no legit champion at times, but at least points still matter. Consistency still matter during a 10 race stretch. And honestly, with that chase format, I think it's amazing. Sure, we might not get like legit champions of that format too, but hey, at least we get a better natural championship battle. Points still matter. Inconsistency is still a thing. Credibility is still a thing. So yeah, even with the elimination format being a thing, it's not special. I feel like I'm still watching another race. It's not special. I love how NASCAR tries to over advertise their garbage to make it all special, all exciting, and all that stuff. But newsflash, it's not really special. It's not really exciting. Ball sports gimmicks don't belong in motorsports. Just because it works in a stick and ball sports, it doesn't mean it's gonna work on motorsports. The thing I hate that people argue about is whatever happened on Super Bowl 2007. Oh, the Patriots. Got no loses. And then we got the Ravens. Winning and losing. I don't watch football, okay? And then all of a sudden, oh, that other team who has not been as consistent with the championship. That's not the same. That's not an auto sport. That is not an auto racing thing. So that argument is stupid and invalid and, and, and irrelevant. So shut up with that shit. It's pathetic. That's stupid to bring up. <sighs> so, yeah, the elimination format has not done anything better. All it does is produce entertainment. It doesn't, it doesn't give consistency. It does not give credibility. Points don't matter. I don't care what people say. Consistency doesn't matter. I hate the fact that you have to be perfect throughout w once every three weeks of a round and then try to go to the, the finale. That's not how it should be, honestly. A, an elimination format should not determine your season. It should not. It shouldn't. What's the point of being good in the first 26 races and then you get a couple bad races? Oh, you're not going to the championship. That shows points don't matter, consistency doesn't matter because of the of, of the elimination format. Sorry, I heard a noise. But the elimination format needs to go. We've had enough of it. Kevin Harvick, well, here's the thing. If, Tyler, if Kyle Busch winning the Chase Championship in 2015, Ryan Newman getting into the 2014 finale, if Tyler Reddick 2018, 
if Matt Crafton 2019 was not the wake up call, then th then Kevin Harvick not getting into the championship has to be the wake up call. We we had enough. We've had enough. I know NASCAR wants to be like an entertainment standpoint, but we don't need the this format for that. We don't. No. What was wrong with the 10 race chase in the Cup Series only? Also, why do we need a chase in the, in the lower series for Xfinity and Trucks? Who asked for that? Also, what was wrong with the, the non-elimination chase format? Even looking back at it, I still find it exciting. Because points don't matter. We got a natural championship battle. Chase-wise, that was exciting. I still get happy when I see moments like those. With this format... I don't. I don't. And also, I, I hate the fact that people bring up, like, the no chase. Oh, but with no chase, we get to see drivers crown championships with a few races to go. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with domination. I know some fans don't like it, but that's how motorsports and sports work. A driver dominates. They crown... They... They get their championships crowned early because they've been that dominant. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? It's deserving. So, that format was never broken. It's just some fans being tired of champions being crowned early, but they should be careful what they wish for before 2004, honestly. The not chase format, or the Winston format that people call it, is a motorsports format because points matter, Throughout the entire season, you got to be consistent and amazing throughout the entire season to be crowned champion. With the 10 race chase format, you got to be amazing with 26 races, and you still got to do it all over again for 10 races. And that's okay, because points still matter. And we get like a closer championship battle and all that stuff. I remember going to Homestead back in 2013, seeing Jimmy Johnson, Matt Kenseth, and Kevin Harvick going for a championship. Whenever they show the points at the sprint vision, honestly, as a Johnson fan, it was nerve wracking because there were times that Kenzie was 15 points close to Jimmy. Uh, it was a bit nerve wracking for me as a Jimmy fan. And guess what? I love that feeling because it shows who's been consistent throughout the entire season, the chase, and including the, that last race. And I love that feeling because it feels special. Winning a championship in a non-chase format, in a chase format, it feels special. Because you worked hard, collected as many points as possible, stay consistent. Honestly, I love that. It feels special. With the, with the elimination chase format, it does not feel special. It's literally predictable, but with just different drivers every year. It does not feel special. When you hear drivers like Kevin Harvick say, you don't win championships like it's Richard Petty, Dale Earnhardt, or something like that, something's wrong. When you have drivers like Harvick, oh, I, I forgot to add that quote from Harvick. If you have Harvick saying, winning is more exciting than winning the championship, a championship is a bonus, but the elimination format happened. It, it, something's wrong. There's something wrong. And for the people who still defend the elimination format and do not see what's wrong with it. What is wrong with you? We got the most dominant driver of the year being screwed. And not going to Phoenix. And people are saying it's okay. Like, th there's nothing wrong with the format. Oh, it's just, it is what it is. It's just unpredictable. There's something wrong with it. And Radman... Brought up a good point. Iceberg brought up a good point. Honestly, if NASCAR wants to be great again and fix the, fix their sport, clean up what Brian France made, uh, clean up the mess that Brian France made. Like bring up what made something work, what made the fans love it. Like if they don't want to go back to the non chase format for the Cup Series, that's okay. The 10 race chase was actually better if you want to talk about the chase. If they want to bring that back, go for it. Anything 
to get rid of the elimination format because I've had enough with this format. I've had enough with it for six years. I'm tired of it. Drivers getting screwed over. Uh, non legit champs being crowned and all that stuff. Because of this stupid moment on Sunday. By the way, Sunday's race was. It was great, don't get me wrong, but it's just embarrassing that Harvick did not get to advance because, oh, he had like two bad races. Well, he got screwed at Kansas because of the package. So <laughs> that's not his fault. So stop defending the format. Um, crap, I don't remember what I was going to say now. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, because of the stupid shit that Harvick didn't advance, even try to take out Kyle Busch, that didn't work. He had to do that because of the format. So, if you guys don't want to blame Harvick, go ahead. At this point, I don't care. The NASCAR Football League's pathetic. And because of this fucking shit, I'm not going to watch Phoenix. I'm not going to watch the cup race at Phoenix. Fuck that. I'm going to watch the trucks and Xfinity Phoenix races because we got, with the non-Chase format, we got Brett Moffitt and Austin Hill going at it, Chase Briscoe and Austin Cindric. So we do have a chance to see a legit champion being crowned on Friday and Saturday. I'm not going to watch the cup race. That's pathetic. Shit like this is making me want to watch less races. I wanted to do a video about how NASCAR has been this year and how it's just sucking the joy out of me for a lot of reasons. That's another day. Shit like this is one of them. So there's a little preview. <laughs> But yeah, I'm not going to watch the cover race. I am sorry, Jimmy Johnson. I am sorry, Clint Boyer. Both of them are my favorite drivers. They're going to have their last race. I'm not going to watch it because of Sunday. I know some of you guys are like, oh, you're not a Jimmy Johnson fan. It's not my fault. NASCAR is the, is the NASCAR football league. So yeah. To make it up to you Johnson fans out there, I am, am going to do like a couple of videos about Jimmy Johnson. So yeah, so don't get too mad at me. Like I know it'll probably not make up anything, but I still want to celebrate Jimmy's last race because Johnson has meant a lot to me when I was younger, when I first got to NASCAR alongside with Gordon. So, so yeah. I know it's disappointing that I'm avoiding the last race because of Sunday stupidity with a stupid format. Oh yeah, team motors between Joe Gibbs Racing's Denny Hamlin and Everett Jones. Great, more reasons to avoid that shit. I really hope Hamlin wins it because he's, a, he's the second best driver of the season. If he doesn't, fuck the NASCAR Football League. So yeah, sorry to, all, sorry to all the Jimmy fans watching this video. Sorry to the Boyer fans watching this video. I know you're disappointed in me. Because I don't want to see the race because of what happened. That means avoiding Jimmy and Cliff's last race. I know you guys are disappointed, but hey. NASCAR Football League's taking the joy, sucking the joy out of me with their shit. I really hope NASCAR fixes themselves. Martinsville better be a wake-up call. Kevin Harvick not advancing. Better be a wake-up call about this shit. You've had enough. We're done with this format. So yeah. <sighs> so, yeah. Playoffs don't belong in motorsports. Not in NASCAR, but they don't belong in any motorsports. Like, look at Arca's championship battle this year. Look at Formula One, and not Formula One, Hamilton won. <laughs> look at IndyCar's championship battle. Look at Ips' championship battle coming to Sebring. They're more exciting than the, the, the elimination format. We got a natural championship points battle. I'm looking forward to those. Not NASCARs. Never NASCARs. Even the West Series, even the ARCA West Series is having a, a better championship battle. So, yeah. So, yeah. Please get rid of this format. We are tired of shit. Bring back no chase format or the 10 race chase format if NASCAR still wants to have a chase stuff keep the chase stuff so yeah just get rid of this shit we're done with it stop listening to the show seeker fans stop listening to the ones who love this format because they don't know anything about motorsports only just nascar because it's an entertainment value not a sport not even a motorsport either so yeah stop listening to those people
please. That's what Brian Ferris did. With Brian Ferris gone, this is a chance to, for NASCAR to be great again. Stop listening to those people. Listen to the motorsports fans who actually care about motorsports, not the show seeker fans. They only care about the gullible, fake, exciting shit. They don't know anything about racing. So yeah, listen to those people because we know how we can make NASCAR great again. There's that. So that's gonna do it for today's video. Sorry if this is like very long. Sorry if like there was some stuff I couldn't explain better. I'm not perfect. And also one more thing, I do wanna apologize for spamming about the, the elimination chase for my comment sections a lot. I'm not trying to annoy NASCAR fans. Like I do this shit because I care about NASCAR. I want them to succeed. I want them to learn from the Brian France era. I want NASCAR to be great again. It's not just because of my being and all that stuff. There's a reason to it. I care about motorsports. I want NASCAR to be successful again. Learn from the Brian France era. That is all. I just want to make that point across. Hopefully, like with this video, I can stop doing that shit. And Love Nation for my needs to go. Follow my social accounts. Instagram, I'm Ampress25 and Ampress48 underscore YT. Like my Facebook page, enascar 48 Nation Film. Don't forget to follow me on Reddit. Don't forget to turn on my YouTube channel notifications for more content. Thank you all so much for supporting the E-Nation. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Fuck the NASCAR Football League. They better fix their shit. We're done with this format. I know I said this a bunch of times, but we're done. We're done with this fake entertainment shit. Bring back what made NASCAR worked. No chase or 10 race chase. No eliminations. Anything with no eliminations. So NASCAR can be great again. <sighs> Thank you all for supporting E-Nation. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.